my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be another meal plan and food haul. If you're new here, hello, welcome, it's lovely to see you. My name's Kaylee, and I am a mum of two. I have a five year old son and a three year old daughter who you can probably hear my son in the background, but I love to meal plan. I find it really helps to save us money, keep us organised, reduce food waste, and yeah, it's just been. I don't mean to be dramatic, but since we started a couple of years ago, it is life changing. It makes a huge difference. So keep watching if you want to see what's on our meal plan and what we bought from the shops this week. Um, what are we doing today, Harry? Uh, we're making a list and we need some more cereal because look, the, the cereal boxes are getting lower and lower. Oh, uh, we are. Yeah. Cereal boxes are getting lower. So do you want to write cereal on the list? Yep. Yeah. Cereal. What kind do you think? I don't know. Chocolate biscuit one. Chocolate biscuit cereal. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Harry's helping me do my meal plan and food shop today, aren't you, dude? So he's just said we need some cereal. What else? We need some <gasps> bread, don't we? Bread, yeah. Cause... Pop it on the list then, darling. Okay. Oh. What sort of meals would you like this week to eat? Spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti and meatballs? Pop it on the list then. I think we might actually already have... We have some mints left over. So that is a perfect choice. High five. Um, what about fish and chips? Because we've got the stuff to make that too. Okay. Fish and chips tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. So we don't... We don't need anything for that either, that's good. Oh, we could buy halloumi. You want halloumi? What yeah. would you like to make with the halloumi? Whatever you can make with it. Oh, uh, or we've got yeah. chorizo. Why don't we do halloumi and chorizo kebabs? Or we could do kebabs to, hmm, a barbecue tomorrow. Barbecue stew. Barbecue. Barbecue, barbecue what? Barbecue with... What about? Oh, I don't know if you've tried it, Harry. You could do like Hunter's chicken. So it's chicken and you wrap it in bacon and then you put cheese on it and you put barbecue sauce on it. And... And you have it with chips and peas. No, what I'm talking about a real that. barbecue. Outside? Yes. But what if it snows again? <laughs> it won't. <laughs> it did the other day. I know, but okay. So we could have a kebab with <gasps> a kebab. like corn on the cob. Corn on that's good for barbecues. And don't forget, we've got that already in the don't freezer. Don't forget a long thing, a long thing that has vegetables on. A vegetable kebab. Yeah. Think you want a vegetable kebab? Yeah, as well. What about? Are we going to make our own pizzas then? Um, let's just stick So we need pizza dough. Can you add pizza dough to the no, list? No, dough. Go on, let's... Dough, dough, just dough. But why if I don't know what you mean in the shops? Good boy. Ooh! Oh, what an excellent idea. Go on, what is it? Chocolate pudding. Let me speak. your hands though. <gasps> so we still have mozzarella and toppings for pizzas because Alistair didn't get the pizza dough base last week so we'll do that this week. We had a couple of cheeky takeaways because there's a couple of meals that I've rolled over um, and then obviously Alistair if you saw my meal plan last week he got loads of stuff that wasn't on the list for the freezer and we ended up eating some of that so some of the meat went in the freezer and we'll roll it over so some of this meal plan is gonna look exactly the same as last week we're going to the shops and buying some things like cereal juice and little things we have run out with yeah. and we're also making food lists if any of you want to try one then then try it yourself but we're also trying a kebab a kebab with cucumber on it. A cooked cucumber. We're going to try it. We'll tell you if it's going to be good or not. Okay? 
I'm Later. Oh, are you going? Harry's decided that he is done with helping. So he's gone in the lounge to watch cartoons until it's time to go do the food shopping. But he did, bless him, help me with my list. And I'm really proud of him because, yeah, it's just a good way of getting him to practice his writing whilst also making him feel grown up and important because he's helping with the meal plan that's going to provide food for our family for the week and yeah I just think it's really good to get them involved even at a young age from being about three or four Harry would help me do the meal plan he'd make shopping lists first of all it was squiggles then he'd write just a, li a list of initial sounds he'd do pictures and now he will sound out he'll sound out can you see he'll sound out what we need so I've just made a bit of a meal plan of what I think we could eat. We were really naughty last week. We had a couple of takeaways. Alistair did the shopping, so he picked up a load of stuff that we didn't need or that wasn't on the meal plan. Um, it was extra, and then we ended up eating some of that instead. So I have reused some of my meals from last week on this week's meal plan because that's life, and I'm not going to do you a new meal plan every week for on here just for the sake of sounding good and like I do all these different exciting meals because that's just not the truth and this this is how we save money it's how we eat it's how we avoid waste so that's how I'm going to show it to you guys because I don't care if it's not fancy it's real and I actually think that that can be more useful so yeah ah rant over <laughs> I can hear Harry watching the cartoons in the other room. Um, okay, so on our list of evening meals, we've got spaghetti and meatballs, that was Harry's request. We actually have everything. Other than passata, we have everything we need to make spaghetti and meatballs, so that was a really good choice of Harry's. Fish and chips, I put that on the meal plan last week, we didn't eat it. It's all food from the freezer though, so it didn't matter that we didn't eat it because we just roll it over to this week. So we still have mushy peas in the cupboard, we still have the breadcrumbs, we still have the haddock and the chips. I might get potatoes and make my own, I don't know yet, but that's basically a free meal. Harry's asked for halloumi and chorizo kebabs. I thought we could have that with corn on the cob, some couscous, nice salad. It's getting warmer, although it snowed yesterday. But then it went warm again. I don't know what's going on with the weather, but I'm just feeling all the summery foods right now. So those kebabs sound lovely. We need halloumi. That's pretty cheap anyway. Um, we still have chorizo in the fridge, so that's really handy. We've got loads of veggies that need using up, so they can go on the skewers, which is a great way to use up leftovers that you don't want to throw away. We've got couscous for days in the cupboard. Every time Alistair comes out, he buys me a pack because he knows I like it. And it just, yeah, we need to get that used. Homemade pizzas. We have mozzarella, we have salami, we have sweet corn and all those things to go on the top. So that's a nice, easy, cheap one because all we really need is the pizza base and some more passata or tomato, tomato, blah, 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 blah. tomato puree. <laughs> Harry got me thinking, he started talking about like barbecue chicken. He actually meant a barbecue outside, but it just made me think something I haven't had for a very 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 long time I'm talking years and years is like hunter's chicken you know where you have the chicken wrapped in the bacon with the cheese and like barbecue sauce all over it usually find it in like pub chains they always have hunter's chicken on the menu and you'd have it with like salad or vegetables and chips and it's just like a proper hearty and yeah I don't think it's like too heavy meal so I'm gonna make something like that beans on toast it's Harry's favourite dinner and do you know what? I, I love a beans on toast. We have loads of beans, so again, all I need to do is stock up on bread. I don't know what it is, maybe it's because it's spring is in the air, but I really want to get back on it with Team Tom. If you haven't, if you don't know what that is, go and follow the organised mum. The organised mum? The organised mum method? She's amazing on Instagram and she's got a blog and she basically breaks down your cleaning tasks to like daily and weekly chores so that everything is faster you set yourself a time limit you don't go beyond that time limit and it just makes it achievable and not overwhelming and my house is it's more of a state than i would like to admit to you right now so i'm going to get back on it and yeah i'm just going to stock up on cleaning things to make sure that 
I have enough of everything in each room. So like sometimes we'll be down to one toilet cleaner and it'll end up upstairs but then the downstairs toilet needs cleaning and we keep forgetting to take it down and then it'll be a few days before we get it done and yeah, just I want to make sure there's bathroom cleaning stuff in the downstairs toilet, bathroom cleaning stuff in the bathroom upstairs, kitchen stuff, so I'm not running around with one spray trying to do everywhere. Does anyone else end up in that situation? Or is it just me? Um, I'm waffly. I'm always waffly. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'll waffle. I do apologise, but that is who I am. This is me. Lunches. I'm going to make some pinwheels, I think. A few bits left. I could do some more of those mac and cheese bites there in another video that I did earlier this week. So go and check that out if you want the recipe for them. Um, sandwiches. Oh, I need cheese. Definitely need cheese. Yeah, like I always say, I like to do lunches as I go because I like to be a bit creative with it and do like picky plates and use leftovers. And yeah, we don't like to set lunches in stone. I still have quite a few porridge oats, um, but we do need cereal and we'll have bread, we'll get eggs. Yeah, breakfast and lunches I always feel like aren't that exciting to discuss. But evening meals. Yeah, that's the things that I always plan properly because that's the thing that saves us money on takeaways or quick trips to the co-op and things like that. Evening meals planning is the most important one for me. So here is my shopping. I got basil, that'll do for the make your own pizzas and the guinea pigs will eat it as well. Cucumber, grapes, two packs of romaine lettuce. We got royal gala apples this week instead of golden delicious ones. Harry decided he wanted red apples. Kale, a mango, an avocado, some bananas, raspberries, blueberries and pomegranate seeds. We still had quite a lot of fruit and veg left so we didn't need to buy that much this week. I've put meat and dairy together this week just because we didn't really buy a lot of meat. We still had quite a lot in the freezer and... We just didn't need it so here we go we just got some chicken some bacon harry asked if he could try sushi for lunch so i said why not cottage cheese we needed butter we've got cheddar cheese chicken satay skewers i thought we could have that with the sushi make a bit of a picky plate two blocks of halloumi to make those chorizo and halloumi kebabs and then harry saw this and couldn't leave it behind so we have some strawberry milk as well. I also got some monster claws. This was another one of Harry's, couldn't leave it behind, really wanted it, picks and I just thought, do you know what, why not? Got some tortilla wraps, we always like to have these in, they're really handy for loads of different recipes. Harry chose frosted flakes as breakfast cereal. We have got some brioche rolls, a loaf of bread, and I saw these and thought they looked really nice, so I thought I'd pick them up. They are called Pop Outs Sour Cream and Onion Flavour, so might have some of those with lunch as well. I have got some Passata. I got two packs of that. One for the pizza topping and another one for meatballs. Garlic bread slices. These are to go with the spaghetti and meatballs. Cordial, because we were running out and Alistair really likes this one. Tuna, it wasn't on my list, but Alistair really likes tuna sandwiches for lunch, so I picked some of that up because we were low. Chickpeas, <laughs> chickpeas, barbecue sauce to do the hunter's chicken, and two pizza bases. We usually find that two is plenty for our family, so we have one between Harry and Meghan, and then one between Alistair and I. Then last but not least, these are the cleaning bits that I got. So I got some microfiber cloths, two of these toilet gels, one for upstairs, one for downstairs. I got a Fabulosa spray, I really like these ones, they're great for just random surfaces around the house and I've never tried these before but I thought they would be a good idea to cut down on plastic and yeah we have loads of these empty bottles <laughs> from previous bottles that we've had, I always like to hang on to them so I thought this would be really handy to just make up in an empty one of these bottles. This is window and glass and it's like four refills and bathroom cleaner and this is also for refills so I thought I can mix one up for upstairs one for downstairs and then it's all sorted and I only had to one but I only had to buy one bottle of product so we'll give that a go and see if we like it I've got some dishwasher tablets because we're low on those toothpaste I thought I'd put that in with cleaning because you know cleaning your teeth 
and I got some sponge scourers as well. For anyone who watched last week's meal plan where I mentioned I was going to try and regrow romaine lettuce from the stump that was left, this is our progress. So this has been a week exactly and look it's doing really well. So all I've been doing is changing the water every day, sprinkling a little bit of water over the top as well and yeah I just left it on the windowsill and this magic happened so I've decided to start trying with another one as well. This one I only started yesterday, but you can already see, can you see that like bit there? That's already starting to grow. So hopefully with time, if I keep doing this with all of them, we'll reduce our waste because we're using it to regrow something else. And we can cut down on how much we're buying because we'll have like a continuous supply of regrown leaves. But yeah, worth a try. Definitely give it a go if you're a fan of romaine lettuce. Thought I'd better film an ending to this video. We've just got back from the park and we went without coats and then all of a sudden it had been a lovely day so far and it started snowing. So we're back home looking a little bit like dragged through a hedge backwards. Jumpers on, hot chocolates made. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you want to see more meal plans and you like videos like this, please give me a thumbs up. It would make my day. And yeah, I'll see you next time.